head on over to Stephanie Erin Brill. She's doing a song called Save the Day. Take it away, Stephanie. Thank you. One, two, three, four. There's been another robbery And Mr. Mess says we're headed for catastrophe So I'd start running, that villain's gonna find ya And keep both eyes aware of what's behind ya It's a bird, it's a plane A man with tights and a cane Superpowers will save the day, save the day. Buildings on fire, guns and gore and tragedy. Could this be the end of all humanity? It's a bird, it's a plane, a man with tights and a cane. Superpowers will save the day, save the day. He's gonna show you just how it's done. He knocks some villains out with just one punch. So get ready, get, get ready. Cause there's a new superhero in town. It's a bird, it's a plane. A man with tights and a cane. Superpowers will save the day It's a bird, it's a plane A man with tights and a cane His superpowers will save the day Save the We're back now with singer-songwriter Stephanie Erin Brill. She's only 15 years old, but she's already racked up tons of honors, including a Whammy nomination for Rising Star. What was which I is doing a big at 15? One. Yeah, uh, right? I was not, not doing my own CD. And getting right? awards or Thanks whatever. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having that me. That was a beautiful song Thank that you, you just did. You're 15. Mm -hmm. How did you get started singing? Have you always just been singing? Did yeah. you take lessons at a young age? Um, well, I, I started taking piano lessons when I was in first grade, and I was just blowing through the books, I kind of got bored with that. And um, in fourth or fifth grade, I started writing, and I just came up with these ideas for simple little songs. And um, then I started taking piano theory at North Shore Academy of the Arts, which is just a little, um, kind of like a little business in Grafton. So I started taking piano theory lessons and songwriting, and I started realizing, hey, I can write songs, I can sing and play piano. So. Why didn't I do this? This sounds fun. Your parents had to be flipped <laughs> out because yeah, <laughs> if you come from a family where no one's musically inclined and then all of a sudden somebody has talent, you're thinking, where did that come from? You don't know from? what to do with it because yeah, your parents kind of musical. fight over it. So like one grandma from my mom's side would be like, oh, my dad was in a bluegrass band. And then <laughs> right? the other side would be like, this well, you know, her, yeah. back in Ireland, we used to do this. and. So we don't really know where it comes from. Yeah, because neither of your parents play <laughs> no. or are musical. Right. It's really just something you picked up and you love. You, you, you did you your first. You got lucky they started you on it. They <laughs> yeah. discovered it. Mm -hmm. You did your first CD at age 13. Yeah. I, that's that some, really what, fun. what does somebody your age write about? Because I always think, you know, at 15, yeah, you're kind of maybe a little obsessed with boys or yeah. maybe there's different yeah. things like that. How, how raw can your lyrics be? And are you ever, you know, nervous to share lyrics yeah. that are personal? Oh, yeah. When I first started writing, I was scared. I was scared to show my parents what mm -hmm. I had written because I was like, well, do they know that I have these problems with boys? Do they know that my friends have these problems? And that's what I started doing. I started taking my friends' problems because I realized <laughs> that I, I'm a happy person. I don't have that many problems. I get some good material off that. Yeah, so <laughs> I, I take, like, their relationship stories and I'll turn them into a song. Or I remember I wrote the song Little Bird, and that was based off of my friend who I've been friends with since birth, pretty much. And um, as we were growing up, I started watching her change. And I just, she started smoking. She started like dyeing her hair crazy colors and she was just turning into this person that I didn't know. 
But when I was with her, it was the same person that I knew since mm. third grade. But then she would hang out with the people that were changing her, and I didn't know her anymore. So I didn't know how to tell her that without writing a song. Because I think maybe something inside me is scared to like get deep when I'm just talking. That's a normal teenage thing, yeah, I believe. So, yeah, so it's easy. An adult but sometimes. like teenagers can totally relate to these songs, but I think adults can too. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. So I think like something in me is scared to like talk to someone, say like, well this is how I feel without sounding really cheesy. So I just put it in a song, and you can get as cheesy as you want with those. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Who who are you influenced by? Because some of the people who I read are, are you know, they're not artists all your age. No, they're older. not at all. Um, definitely Regina Spector is uh -huh. my number one. Um, Paul McCartney, I really like old classic rock. Um, the Beatles, of course, who isn't inspired by them. Fabulous. Um, the Avid Brothers, they're mm -hmm. really folky. They're good. I love folk music. So. Mm -hmm. So what's next for you? You've been nominated for a whammy. Mm -hmm. what, what are you looking to do in the next you few years? You had to flip when you heard bird. that. Did you oh, yeah. totally flip out? Yeah. When just the rising star. That's just that title. Nominated like, for I'll rising star. You I just don't mind. feel good about right. it. Gives you some good like, confidence. Like I'm doing something. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so what are you going to do next? Um, well, I'm performing at Downtown Alive, which okay. is at this bar called Upper 90. And that's mm -hmm. at 6 o'clock. You're not allowed in bars, are you? No. Or no you I can mean, get in the bar to Only for this. Yes, right. I have to have my parents. My parents come with me everywhere. Sometimes they'll like put giant X's on my hands. So like, Do not serve can't her. serve me. <laughs> they're here taking pictures today. Yeah, they're walking around. As they should be. Mm -hmm. Well, I think it's exciting. Um, you're going to play another song for us. So before I give the information for your show, I just want to make sure that everybody sticks around because Jillian Michaels is going to be here right after the break. Interviewed her, and in just a bit, we'll have a guy's guy's guide to love. You don't want to miss that. Okay, now make sure that you check out uh, Stephanie Aaron Brill, Saturday, April 13th at the Whammy Downtown Alive Music Musician Showcase. She'll be playing at 6 o'clock at the Upper 90 Sports Pub. The show's free. Can't beat that price. And now here she is with a song called Change. Take it away, Stephanie. <laughs> was going just as planned he was not a man to pity he didn't think that things would ever change change to get himself through winter his soul is worn his clothes are stained he wonders why his life has splintered he'll ask the stars above for things to When every day you're faced with other children's judgment, she shouldn't be the one who needs to change. Change. This girl has grown to be 16. It's the thoughts that have controlled her It's been a slow recovery But with each day she's growing stronger She knows that things are finally starting to change sadness from their face trying to find a way to replace all the time they spent in darkness and in pain and as they look back on their lives countless memories flood their minds 